Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily from Emily Cromwell Designs and I design colorful and happy bookish merch for readers. I am so happy to be filming because I haven't filmed a new video in a little over two weeks now. So it just feels amazing to be back here with you guys. I missed you. So today is January 3rd and I originally was going to film this video last week. However, if you follow me on Instagram, then you probably saw this, but um, I have severely injured my muscles, um, particularly in my um, left rib cage all the way into my left back ribs area. Um, and you know what? Like. I wish, I wish I had like a cool story for someone who's like, well, how'd you get injured? And I could be like, I was fighting off a bear. Or I could be like, oh, you know, I tried cross country skiing and tumbled down the side of a mountain, but, but I came out on my feet, kept going. You know, like that kind of cool story. Yeah, okay, so I don't have a cool story <laughs> because, uh, yeah, so one thing to know about if you have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, you get injured easily. Like, it doesn't matter literally what you do. You could just roll over in bed at an odd angle and you're injured. So I went to Barnes & Noble because it was the start of my winter break. I wanted some romance books, right? So I get in there and I'm in the romance section, I'm in the fantasy section, and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so many amazing books. So, you know, I just kept piling them on, and I found a lot of books that I wanted to read. And I think it got to be like seven or so books. I was only carrying them on my left side, like my left hand, for whatever reason. I think it's because my right hand, I had my phone, and I was like looking up like reviews and like on Goodreads, and like if any of my friends had read it on Goodreads while I was like holding the books and looking, right? Okay, and you would usually think like, it's not a big deal, like, fine. So just carrying seven books, romance books, which made it worth it, in my left arm for 30 minutes at the bookstore, severely, and I mean severely, injured uh, multiple muscles in my body. They, it, I mean, when I first was in pain, let me just tell you, it was up here, it was in my neck, it was my whole left shoulder blade, it was my lower ribs, it was my back ribs. I felt like the left side of my body was hit by a truck. That's how bad it was. Like, I was in tears every day because the pain was agonizing. I couldn't even lay on my back or lean up against, like, the back of a couch to get comfortable because it hurt so bad in my back ribs. And so it has um, been like this for two weeks. Finally, a few days ago, the pain started to get a bit better. I can now lay on my back for a little bit of time. I can't lay on my left side still, which is agonizing because when you're trying to sleep at night you know like how you like to flip or at least I do I'm a side sleeper I can't lay on my left side so that's been fun but um, yeah long story short I was not able to film this video last week because I am under strict orders from my doctor are you ready for this I cannot lift over five pounds for like two to three months isn't that exciting I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked. Um, so that's gonna make going back to work pretty interesting because, I mean, some orders people place are like 10 pounds. So I don't know how that's gonna work. So I'm probably gonna just have to wait for Chris to get home from work at the end of the day and he's gonna need to fortunately take one for the team for the next few weeks and carry all the orders up at the end of the day because I'm not gonna be able to do it. But I'm also curious how it's gonna go with making magnetic bookmarks because the machine is to the left of me. I'm like, just doing this hurts to twist and I can't twist well. I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm gonna have to make some modifications uh, while this heals, but yeah. So today I'm going to attempt. Um, we're starting today to like clean up the studio, unbox some deliveries that we had delivered before the holidays and try to clean up the studio to get ready for when I go back to work in a week. However, like I said, I can't lift much. So Chris had brought down boxes a week ago. So we're gonna have to unbox them where they are because I can't lift them. And I think some of them are planners, so we're gonna have to take like one out at a time. So this is gonna be fun. It's probably gonna be slow going, but like I got a big biofreeze patch like wrapped around my body and um, that's been keeping me sane the past few days. But so welcome back. We are starting the new year off 
doing well. We're doing well. And this is also a, I don't want to say special day. It's not a special day. It's a important day in my life, January 3rd, because this is the anniversary of when my beloved soulmate, Cat Misty, passed away on January 3rd, 2021. So today marks three years of that. And you know how in Gilmore Girls where Lorelai one day found out that Luke had a dark day. It was when he disappeared for the day because it was like the anniversary of his father's passing. Today is my dark day. January 3rd is my dark day. So if you don't know who Misty is, this painting right up on my wall of me and a gray kitty, that is Misty. It's a painting that I had commissioned of me and her when she passed. Uh, she was my soulmate cat for 16 years. We were together from she was eight weeks old until 16 and a half. She got me through elementary school, middle school, high school, college, after college, everything. And she was the OG Emily Cromwell Design Studio Cat. So usually on this day, I mope and I just sit and I cry and I uh, like remove myself from social media and I just, it's a bad day. But you know what I figured? I was like, you know what? I'm like, today I don't wanna be by myself and wallow in this. I want to feel the sadness, but I want to also try to do something today so I'm not just stuck in that hard place. So I was like, you know what? I wanna hang out with you guys today because you guys make me happy. You guys bring me comfort and um, I just thought it'd be nice to hang out with you guys on this hard day. So that is what we are doing today. We are going to be going through the studio. I left it a bit of a mess after I was done working for the holiday season. Cause you wanna know how many orders I shipped in December. Just in December, we shipped just shy of 2000 orders in a whole month by myself. So things are messy. Things are all over the place. I gotta figure out where I wanna put things and organize and yeah, so without further ado, I have been, oh gosh, I've been talking a really long time. I apologize, so we are going to get into the video. Okay, so we have moved on the floor here, and um, like I said, I can't move these things, so we're gonna um, attempt to open them just from down here on the floor, and I'm very excited because, you know, I get excited over little things, but for Christmas, um, Santa happened to put some pink scissors in my stocking, so I now have some pink scissors to open packages with in my studio, so I'm very excited. Thank you, Sand. Okay, um, this is gonna be an awkward angle. You know what? Okay, let's figure this out. All right, let's open some things up. Can I lift this? No. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so useless. Oh, this is nice. This is already opened. Okay. Okay. Is this? Well, this is a bit late to the game. We have some restocked Christmas sticky notes. But you know what? It actually works out well because this is the penguin sticky notes and the winter bookshop snow globe sticky notes. Okay, well that says ho ho ho, but you know what? It's still wintry, it's a wintry vibe. And I mean, if you're like me, I still like to use like Christmassy stuff into like early March. Is that weird? It's probably weird. But you know what, I live in New England so it's cold up here for a long time. I mean, our spring really isn't to like May, mid-May, late May. So it feels like winter for a very long time up here. All right, um, this is like an awkward angle. I feel like, you know what I'm gonna, I have to figure out, I'm just trying to get in a uh, position where I'm not stretching this side of my body because that's gonna re-injure. I'm just gonna bring these out, let's do this. Yeah, this whole left side of my body is just useless at this point for the next few weeks, but we are working with it. Okay. Oh, don't fall, I can't catch you. And I'm thinking what I wanna do is instead of just like going in my inventory online and just setting everything back to like in stock, I'm thinking what I wanna do is maybe have like a shop update where I'm like, okay, all this is back in stock, like sticky notes. I just got a big delivery of washi tape, like stuff like that. So it's kind of like my first shop update of the year because I was originally wanting to have, do like a romance bookmark set, like a new romance set for kind of Valentine's season because the past two years I've done Valentine's Day bookmark sets. And I was like, I don't want to do another Valentine's Day set because I already have two. And also I can't think of any more Valentine designs this year. <laughs> but because of the pain, my holiday break really wasn't much of a holiday break because I was in agony every day and I couldn't 
really do anything for like a solid week and a half straight. So I was in no place to draw. And then December, I just worked so hard that I really, really, really like burnt myself out. And I didn't want to draw anything. So I'm not going to have a new romance set for Valentine's. But what I'm going to do is I'm, I, like the past few days, I've like gotten the urge to like start drawing again and doing things. So I'm going to be doing a new romance bookmark set. However, the launch will probably be in February uh, because January I have regular orders to ship that people have been placing while on the break. I have monthly clubs and I have the Emily Cromwell Designs January box and I don't want to just go back into work and then burn myself out instantly again. I, I don't want to start the year off like that. This year my ultimate goal is like self-care realizing that this body of mine has its limits and don't push those limits and um, having like dedicated work hours so I just work to like 4.30 or 5 every day and rest in the evening instead of working till 9, 10 p.m. and then getting up and like just working again in the morning. Just walking down the stairs. Don't they not film it? All right, so I lost my train of thought because someone just walked down the stairs and I forgot what I was saying. My brain, what was I saying? Anybody remember? <laughs> um, okay, anyways, moving forward. It was a shop update or something I was talking about. Oh yeah, shop update. January, February, romance bookmark set. It's coming back to me, I remember. Okay, uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be um, doing. And all right, we need to quality check these sticky notes, count how much inventory we have, and move on to the next. So this planner right here, this is the planner that I mentioned in one of my recent videos, I think it was two weeks ago now, that this is the planner I'm actually going to be uh, like revamping and doing a new updated version of this year. Because I first made this planner, I think it was back in 2020, and it, it has been one of the most popular listings in my shop. But I'm like, you know what, it's time for a refresh. So I'm going to be restocking it up until I design the new one. I haven't even started on the new one. I mean, I've done sketches for like how I want it to look on the inside and the outside. But, you know, time has been slipping on by and I haven't gotten to design it. So um, this is going to be back in stock very soon, as well as the Bookstagrammer planner. through trying to quality check all the planners and I come up on this one right okay so here is the cover looks good right we open it up holy moly it's upside down <laughs> oh. well the good thing is though at least just one planner 
it was printed upside down and it wasn't like all of them that I bought because that would be the travesty. But it's just one and we're going to get that replaced. So crisis averted. At least we still have a stack of good ones. Okay, I am not sure what is in this next box. I'm thinking it's bookmarks or notepads of some sort. So we're going to open it up and find out. It is a mystery box. It's like mystery grab bags. And speaking of mystery grab bags, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna do the next round of those. I was gonna say sometime in the new year, but you know what, it is the new year. So it's definitely gonna be in the new year. Um, maybe those could be a January thing that I do. Like, yeah, maybe I'll do those this month. Okay, yeah, stay tuned, okay, stay tuned. Oh, you know what these are? These are actually replacement bookmarks for all the ones that I bought that were laminated and then they all arrived like peeling. That's what these are. Okay, awesome. Well, that's good. Cute. So one of the things that I need to do today is I've decided originally I was going to keep all of like the holiday gift wrap and the holiday gift bags like here in the studio because I'm planning on leaving them listed throughout the year in case you know anybody gets a little urge and is like you know what I want to prepare for Christmas 2024 and get some gift wrap and holiday bags but um I have no room to keep them in here because uh, I just ordered all the new products for the Emily Cromwell Designs January box. And let me tell you, a lot of things are coming, okay? A lot of things are coming. And then I'm obviously, as you guys know, I'm always designing new things, so I need space. And um, so I, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep them listed in my shop. However, I am going to put them in, what do you call those bins that you get from Target? rubber bins rubber made bins i think that's what they're called rubber made bins <laughs> and why was that so hard for me to remember i need food clearly but um i'm going to box everything up put them in the bins and take them over to storage in the storage unit that i have so that we can get those out of the way because i need room guys i need room and even just going into this year and like looking at my bookmark corner here and seeing that like I have one, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, 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 nine. I only have 17 spots available for new bookmarks. 
that's not gonna work. So a lot to what I'm having to do this week is going through all of my current designs that I have, both stickers and bookmarks, and seeing what things I want to retire and get rid of and what things I maybe want to like update. Because that romance bookmark set I told you guys about, that I'm actually going to be replacing my oldest romance bookmark set that I did three years ago now. And I'm going to replace that because it's kind of like, I still sell some, but it's kind of like fizzled out a little bit. Ow. Goodness. So I've tried so hard today to just carry like the most minimal amount of things and still my body is like, what are you doing? I wish I could like have like a button and I'm just like Hulk mode, activate, and then I could be strong. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be nice, but it's not gonna happen. But okay, so we are going to get those things boxed up. I don't know if I'm going to storage today or tomorrow or the day after that, but we will figure it out. Do I want to like put all these in one? You know what? That would save space. It's just too heavy. Yeah. You know you have issues when a box of wrapping paper rolls. It's too heavy for you. Ooh. Kick it to the door. I can't lift anything. Come on. There we go. Let's go. Hi. We're going. We're going. Of course these don't fit in the box. Why? Because that would be too easy. That would be too easy. Well, how am I supposed to store you? You know what? I'll probably have to put these in trash bags. This really doesn't fit. No, it really doesn't fit. All right. We are doing trash bags. Plan B. Is this even big enough? All right, yes it is. Thank goodness, my gosh, here we are. Oh man. Wonder if I could like do this and then put like another trash bag on this end to cover the opening and like tape it. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. We're just being very inventive today with my organization skills. All right, let's do this one. Okay, so I think that's all I'm gonna be able to get to today. We actually did a lot, like this whole part of my studio is it looking so chaotic and messy anymore? And it's, I'm finally just starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to say. So I am calling it a day for today. Did like a half day work, but my uh, muscle pain is flaring up. So that is a warning sign to me that I need to chill. So um, that's what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Today is Thursday morning and we are back in the studio for another day, or should I say half day? half day of trying to organize it and get it ready for when I go back to work next week. So I will say though, some very good news is that for the first time in about two weeks, I was finally able to lay on my left side without being in agony. So that was nice. Because ever since I've had this injury, I have not been able to lay on my back or my left side, only my right, which is causing pain to my right side because I can't move in the middle of the night. So it's, that was a nice relief last night. I was like, finally! So things are slowly healing, but it's, um, oh my gosh, this injury has been insane because the other, I shared this on Instagram, but the other day when I was in the middle of it being just really, really, really bad, I woke up at like, I think it was like six in the morning, just before six, in utter agony. Like when I say agony, agony. Like I was, oh my gosh, I was in so much pain. So I woke up. I was woken up by my pain from like deep REM sleep, like straight out of the dream. Woke up instantly to the pain. So I was already like out of sorts from being in a dream one second and the next I'm awake and I'm in all this pain and I'm not understanding why it suddenly got worse and I think it was how I was laying. And then I had fallen asleep with like three or four blankets on me. I fell asleep with like my really warm pajamas so I was overheating too. And then I sat up really quickly because I wanted to try to like move my position to see if that would help the pain. But then when I sat up quickly, my dysautonomia, my blood pressure dropped too fast. 
and when my blood pressure drops I get dizzy and spacey and lose my vision and the second that happened like the second I sat up I got all my typical warning signs of I'm gonna faint because another thing that happens to me I don't know if this happens to anybody else my body's response to being in severe pain is I faint and I got all the warning signs that I was gonna faint I was like oh gosh just like no at the time I was like okay Chris is probably already at work my mom's asleep my stepdad's at work I'm like no one's gonna hear the thump if I faint and fall on the floor and come help me so that made me start panicking and then like I instantly started sweating like it felt like I had just got out of a pool like I was drenched everywhere my clothes instantly got soaked through I started to black out I started to lose my hearing and then when I'm about to faint I get really nauseous like I'm gonna throw up and I was like I was like I cannot throw up and pass out and no one knows this is happening to me so I started panicking and I'm like fumbling on my phone and I like called my mom thank goodness her phone was on when she she fell asleep with the volume with the on because she answers she's like hello and I like I was like literally mid blackout I'm just like come quick and I just fall face first on the bed and I'm just laying there and I like had partially blacked out if I'm able to get my head down like level with my legs I can usually stop blacking out before I do a full faint but because my body so much wanted to be out of the agony even though I was laying face down and like half blacked out it went on for it was like felt like a minute or two of just feeling that way of like I'm gonna faint any second and if you've gotten that you know how awful and scary that feeling is like my mom comes running upstairs and she goes where are you where are you and she couldn't find me because I was face down on the bed it's pitch black <laughs> and because she didn't see me up by the pillows so she's like looking around and I'm just like uh. <laughs> I couldn't move. I couldn't speak. It was awful. It was so bad. But I'm very glad not to be in that situation anymore. And um, back to kind of back to being among the living and feeling mostly normal. But yeah. So anyways, I just want to say that I was very happy that I'm finally able to sleep without being in agony because that's been nice. So today we are just going to be continuing what we did yesterday. We are Chris uh, brought down some more boxes for me to unbox. Thank you, Chris. And I'm gonna unbox those things. And something that I wanna do is, I mentioned this was in my studio tour video, I think. On my extra inventory wall over here, I have bookmarks and bookmarks and bookmarks and bookmarks and bookmarks of extra bookmarks. And did I mention bookmarks? There's bookmarks. <laughs> and it's just like where I keep my extra bookmark inventory, but it is really like taking over and I need to organize it. So what I'm gonna do is I have these boxes. I have like eight of these. Fun fact, these were actually the boxes that I used to use to store all my bookmark inventory in before I invested in these storage boxes here on my, was this my left? But to you, it's my right. This side. <laughs> So I'm thinking maybe instead of like buying all new like organizers to put those in, I'm like, what if I just like try to use these and organize them in those? It's just, I don't know how it's gonna work because these like organizers are only so tall and have so much space. And some bookmarks, I have a lot of extras, like a lot of extras. So I don't, I don't know how well it's gonna fit, but we're gonna try because the good thing is about these things is that they're stackable. So really that's the most important thing, but it's just a matter of organizing it so I know what bookmarks are in what. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. I don't think we're gonna make it over to the uh, storage unit today to get all that stuff. Let me see if I can shift here. All this stuff behind me down here is going to the storage unit. Maybe that'll be tomorrow. Cause I can't do it this weekend because we are finally getting a nor'easter. Um, and if you're not from the Northeast, you don't know what that is. That is basically just a huge snowstorm in the winter that New England gets. And I'm very excited. Where I live, we're supposed to get probably, they're thinking like about a foot of snow. I'm very excited. Cause we haven't had a good snow in like two years. So I'm pumped. But yeah, so I'm gonna have to get over to storage probably tomorrow to get there before the big snowstorm. So. Um, without further ado, let's get into organizing. So this is the bookmark shelf that we are going to be tackling today. 
Um, yeah, so see what I mean? Like right now, all these bookmarks are just thrown like randomly all over here. So I wanna try to get this organized um, and we will see how we do. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna go through all the bookmarks that are over there and go through and see like if I can fit any of them like in the organizers and kind of like restock and replenish things and get as much in there as I can so then I don't have to put as much in the storage bin. So that is what we're gonna do first. I got pretty much everything organized, got any of the excess bookmarks organized that I could. So we have some leftovers, as you could tell, on the floor. So I think what I'm gonna do, because I noticed I have a lot of like fall and like Halloween leftovers, is I don't really wanna store like that many until next fall and Halloween. I mean, my fall and Halloween bookmarks, I mean, all my bookmarks really sell all year round, but I don't know if I'll be able to move that much throughout the year. So I think what I'm gonna do is put a good chunk of the ones that I have like a ton of in the mystery grab bag bin. So that way I can just kind of like move those out quicker and do like mystery grab bags. Uh, yeah. So we are going to now switch gears and start to organize them into like the uh, four by six like photo organizer things. I get these from Michaels and I love them. They're just useful for like so many different things. So hopefully this works. Um, I already have like organizer stickers on each one from when I used to use them for my bookmarks and I don't really know if I feel like taking them off and writing a new thing on because I'm going to keep changing what goes in them. Maybe I'll write on a post-it note like what's in each box just so I know. Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> Okay, so we are almost done with this. However, what I'm finding is that after I finish and I like get all the bookmarks in these bins is that they are way too heavy for me to even try to lift. So I'm just leaving them literally sporadically spread out all over my floor. When Chris gets home later, I'm gonna ask him if he can move them for me. But um, this is literally like giving me so much more space on my shelves. So it's making me feel just like so much more like, zen and i'm like okay i have space and like not so like boxed in and overwhelmed and because this was like a big task that i've been wanting to do for months now so it feels really good to just be like done so i think i have one more of these boxes to get through and then i think i think then we'll have all the extra bookmarks stored which will be awesome so the next thing that i want to do is i want to move all of the ornament organizers 
over here so that because like this area well you can't see it <laughs> that area over there is where i keep like pretty much like my main inventory and over here is where i keep like excess inventory i keep extra packing materials stuff like that so that's like my go-to which when you think about it really makes no sense because this area is closer to where i pack and ship things so i have to walk farther but you know what? We're getting in my steps for the day, right? That's how we're going to view it. We're getting in the steps for the day. So it's fine. But I want to move the ornaments over here because I'm not, I don't ship many of those throughout the year. So I don't need it in like my main area. And then I want to move all the notebooks and uh, like the tote bags that are over here over there. So we're going to do a little switcheroo. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I keep my local staples going with how much ink I have to buy. Like I, I mean, honestly, the amount of ink I have to buy on like a bi-weekly basis and during busy months, a weekly basis is literally off the charts. Off the charts. But thankfully, I don't know if you guys have this too, but uh, my staples has like you can buy it online, but they'll like personally deliver it to your house. So they have like this uh, delivery driver and they'll deliver it either next day or if they can't do it like next day, because I kind of live in like a rural area, they'll do it a uh, day after. So in two days, it's awesome because then I never really have to like wait long for ink and it's just great. <laughs> All right, so we have some more things that we need to unbox that Chris brought down. I think it's like bookmarks and mailers. And more washi tape too, because I've been waiting for washi tape for like two months, so we're gonna have more washi tape. Ooh, we got notepads in here too. All right. I don't know why I bought more of these, because I didn't need more of these, but you know what? This is actually my best selling notepad, so it's fine if we have extras. <laughs> actually, this is really good because this, these were a lot of the bookmarks that I've been sold out of and I couldn't remember if I bought more before my holiday break. So this actually works out very well that I ended up buying more. All right, let's see what stickers these are. Yay, oh cute. Oh my gosh, these came out so cute. Oh gosh, oh my god, that is adorable. I love it. All right, I gotta show you guys these. Hold on. So these are the stickers for the January Monthly Bookmark Club with the kitty theme. Look how cute it came out. And we've got these two individual ones. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with these. <laughs> I believe this should be all my washi tape. I got this taped good. Okay, so I'm not going to be counting these or like prepping these today, but we need to find a storage unit. Or do I just want to keep them in the box? Just, maybe I'll just keep them in the box. Can I move it up there? I probably shouldn't. <laughs> what am I going to try? Yes. <laughs> okay, not too bad. All right, I think that's all we're gonna get to today. It is already 3 p.m. So I'm gonna stop for now We've actually been at this a while. I don't know how much I ended up filming, but we've been at this for a while So I am gonna go actually draw some new romance bookmark designs and I also just started um, What is it? Um, Vanderpump Rules like from season one I haven't watched it before but I was like, you know how I've, I've been like really into Real Housewives with Lisa Vanderpump And then I saw she had that show just started watching it Oh my gosh. I'm watching it last night. I'm like, 
what in the world is going on? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go watch that while drawing some more bookmarks. And then I will see you guys either tomorrow or Saturday. I don't know which day we're going to storage, but whichever day we are going to storage, um, I will see you guys on that day. And I'll see you guys soon. Hello everybody and welcome to Friday. I was gonna say Friday morning, but it is Friday afternoon. So yesterday we finished for the day at 3 p.m. We are starting today at 3 p.m. <laughs> I woke up so late today. I didn't wake up like a few minutes ago. I woke up at like 11. I did not sleep well last night and then I was just exhausted, I think, for the past few weeks. So slept in so late, which is really out of character for me. And then I had to do some, handle some business things this morning and make some calls and that, and that ended up taking like forever. And now here we are. So we're not doing like too much today. We've gotten like a lot done the past few days, but what I want to do today is I want to go through my bookmark corner here and also the stickers. And I want to decide what products I'm going to be retiring for the year. So, well, not for the year, it just in this year, right now. I'm gonna be retiring like right now. <laughs> and so when I retire designs, usually what I do is I just go through and see like what products haven't been really selling much the past like year or so. And then like kind of see like what has fizzled out and like even like what products I just don't wanna stock anymore. Uh, because I have so many bookmarks, but I'm really trying to, I say I'm trying to consolidate down how many I have, but really when I do that, then I just design more to replace those, and then I design even more. So, it's a cycle, guys. It's a cycle. So, yeah, so I want to see mostly just what um, bookmarks I want to retire and the stickers, and then when I have the ones I'm going to retire, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like put them in mystery grab bags and have like a big mystery grab bag sale coming up soon, instead of just like saying these are retiring buy them now if you want because I mean they've been available to purchase for almost some of them years now at this point so I think I'm just gonna do mystery grab bag sales to just kind of move them quicker so that is what we're gonna be doing today and then uh, a little bit later on we are finally gonna be making our way over to storage so we can get just everything I'm just looking at everything right now and I'm like we have a lot to move over to storage it's the gift wrap it's um, leftover like um, Halloween promo materials like postcards, freebie business cards. Oh, I that just reminded me. Uh, I need to buy new freebie business cards for January. I didn't do that yet. Okay, gotta do that. Um, but then we're also bringing, did I say gift wrap already? I probably did. Gift bags. And then um, I bought those, I don't know if you guys remember, but I bought the like cozy up with a good book hot cocoa pillows that was another thing that did and didn't end up selling as well as i thought it would so now i have like 50 of those <laughs> and i don't know what to do with them so um i'm just gonna put them in storage and maybe i'll have like a sale on them and then go back and get them i don't know all i know is that i can't keep them all here when i need to work because they're just like filling up like my walkway of where like my inventory shelves are and i can't do that when i go back to work next week so i'm gonna stop babbling and we're gonna see what products we are retiring <laughs> space we're gonna have for new bookmarks we have space here and then we have space up here so i actually ended up getting rid of a lot of bookmarks that i'm gonna retire so so here are the designs that we're gonna be saying goodbye to
Okay, so now that the bookmarks are all done, I have some stickers now that I want to go through and just see like which ones that don't really sell well, retire those, and make way for more because I really don't have a lot of space for new stickers. So that is what we're going to tackle next. Okay, so I didn't have as many stickers that I was getting rid of as the bookmarks, but there's still a couple. So these are all the sticker designs that we are saying goodbye to. Okay, so switching gears a little bit is now we are switching over to I am going to be photographing the first book sleeve of the new year. So fun fact, this book sleeve, um, it was originally supposed to be um, a restock in December. However, when I received them, I just never got around to being able to like take the pictures and get the restock together because I was just so like stressed out and overwhelmed with in December with how busy we were. So I was like, you know what? It's not technically a Christmassy pattern because like, you know, snowmen, you can build those in January when it snows. Gingerbread man, you can eat gingerbread cookies all year round. Hot cocoa, drink it all year round. Books, read it all year round. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna do it in January. So this is gonna be the first January book sleeve that we're gonna have for the first restock of the year. So I am going to get these photographed, um, count up how many we have, and then um, hopefully after that, then we'll be making our way over to the storage unit. Off to storage we go! This is not making my muscle happy. Okay, so you know like the hot cocoa like plushy little pillows that I had like five bags of. We decided actually not to put those in storage because I'm gonna give them another try and I'm gonna try to do like a winter like closeout sale of like trying to clear out inventory and put that in there. So hopefully we can get that sold and whatever we don't end up selling from that, then I will put those in boxes and bring them over to storage.
Okay, my friends, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching and hanging out with me. I am so excited just to be like back in the groove of things and filming studio vlogs and getting back to work. It sounds weird to say I'm excited about going back to work, but I'm just like so excited to just get back in the thick of things and like design launches, and design new products, all the new things, sending happy mail to you guys. It just makes me so happy. And I'm also just really excited about just implementing that new like strict work hours for myself thing that I wanted to do this year so that I can work all day but then have my evenings open to just relaxing, watching TV, reading a book, actually eating real food and just having time to just chill for a bit before having to get up and do it again the next day. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm really hopeful that it's gonna be a great year for Emily Cromwell Designs and I'm excited to have you guys here with me along for the ride to see how this year goes. So I hope this video wasn't too boring with organizing things and getting just things together for getting back to work. The next video we are going to be back to work, packing orders, in the thick of it, super busy. I think actually when I go back to work, the very first thing I have to do is pack the uh, January monthly bookmark and sticker clubs so we are going to be working on that first and yeah so I'm just I'm excited so if there's like any certain types of videos you guys want to make sure that I do this year that you that are like what like what is your favorite type of video that I do do you like the order packing videos do you like where I'm just sitting here and like we're chatting hanging out like let me know what kind of stuff you want to see more of for me and I can make sure to do more of that in 2024 and I'm just excited. I know I've said that like 500 times already but it's okay because I'm excited and it's just gonna be a good year so uh, with that thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me and watching this video if you're interested in the book sleeves right here my first book sleeve restock of the season well of the year not just the season is gonna be Friday January 12th and it's gonna be at 7 p.m. Eastern time so when this video goes up that is two days from today so again I hope you guys are doing well I hope you guys had a really great start to the new year I hope 2024 is treating you well so far and thank you for being here with me I am so grateful for you guys I'm every like comment subscribe that you guys do i'm so immensely grateful and just thank you guys for being the amazing humans that you are i love you so i hope you guys are reading some amazing books and i will see you in my next video bye